Born to Tywin and Joanna Lannister in 266 AC, Cersei and her twin brother Jaime were raised in Casterly Rock of the Westerlands. Growing close in their childhood, they began to experiment with each other sexually and developed a romantic relationship that they continued throughout their lives. Although they were once caught by a servant as children, their relationship remained secret for many years, and so Cersei's father worked to arrange an appropriate marriage for his only daughter, hoping to pair her with Rhaegar Targaryen, heir to the Iron Throne. Rome. Cersei liked the idea of marrying a handsome prince and one day becoming queen, coming to fantasize about their union. At the age of 10, in 276 AC, a tournament was held at Lannisport in honor of the birth of Viserys Targaryen, son of King Aerys II and younger brother of Rhaegar. Cersei's aunt confided in the girl, letting her know that Tywin planned to arrange the betrothal during the tourney. Hearing about a woman that went by Maggie the Frog, who was supposed to have magical powers, Cersei and her friends, Jane Farman and Malara Heatherspoon went off in search of the fortune teller to ask about their future husbands. However, when they entered her tent, she was sleeping, causing Cersei to rudely kick her bed so she might wake. She was short, squat, and warty, with pebbly greenish jowls and yellow eyes. Jane Farman immediately ran away in fear, and Maggie tried to send the others away as well, but young Cersei made threats, invoking the name of her father and demanding that the woman speak her foretellings. Maggie reluctantly agreed and offered them a dagger to cut themselves and sucked the blood from their thumbs. She then allowed them three questions each. When will I wed the prince? Never. You will wed the king. I will be queen though. I, queen you shall be, until there comes another, younger and more beautiful, to cast you down and take all that you hold dear. Will the king and I have children? Oh I, six and ten for him, and three for you. Gold shall be their crowns, and gold their shrouds. And when your tears have drowned you, the Valencar shall wrap his hands about your pale white throat and choke the life from you. Cersei did not understand what Valencar meant at the time and wanted to leave immediately, but Melara still needed her questions answered. Will I marry Jaime? Not Jaime, nor any other man. Worms will have your maidenhead. Your death is here tonight, little one. Can you smell her breath? She is very close. Cersei, upset at the prophecies, grabbed a nearby potion and threw it in Maggie's face before the girls ran off. As the tournament concluded, Cersei learned that her betrothal to Rhaegar fell apart and they were not to be wed. Throughout her life, Cersei was haunted by the words spoken in this prophecy, which seemed to foretell of her marriage to King Robert, who had 16 bastard children while she had three pureborn Lannisters with her brother Jaime. It also stated that Cersei would be queen until she was replaced by someone younger and more beautiful, and that her children would all die, leaving her to be strangled by the Valonqar, which after speaking to Septa Serenade, Cersei learned meant little brother in High Valyrian. The final prophecy saw the death of Melara Heatherspoon, likely killed by Cersei later that night to prevent anyone from ever knowing of what was said. Although Cersei interpreted the prophecy of the Valonqar to mean her hated younger brother Tyrion would be the one to kill her, there is also the possibility it may actually be her twin brother Jaime, as Cersei was born first. And while both Tyrion and Jaime are candidates, there are some who believe the full meaning of the word Valonqar has yet to be revealed. In the same way that a gender-neutral word for prince and princess exists in the High Valyrian language, Valonqar may have been misinterpreted to mean little brother when it may in fact mean little sibling broadening the scope of the prophecy to mean any little brother or little sister may be the person destined to end Cersei's life. As a result, some have come to believe that the Valonqar may be Arya Stark, a little sister in the Stark family and a trained assassin who dreams of murdering Cersei for her actions against her family. Other proposed female candidates include several of the Sand Snakes, daughters of Oberyn Martell, who wanted vengeance for the death of their father. However, others do not agree with this interpretation, proposing a number of alternative male candidates, such as Sandor Clegane, the little brother of Gregor Clegane, who may still be alive and has a deep hatred for the Lannister family. There is also Stannis Baratheon, younger brother to King Robert, Aegon Targaryen, supposed younger brother to Rhaenys Targaryen, and Gendry and Edric Storm, younger siblings amongst Robert Baratheon's bastards. Another theory even states that Cersei may be killed by her youngest son, Tommen, who may be raised as an undead white after his death. A special thanks to all those who contribute to Civilization X, like Oliver Otterborn, Johannes the Juvenile, and Michael the Stallion Sixsmith. If you'd like to help the channel with a monthly donation, click on the Patreon link, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to see more.